Knox College. This is uh, Mr. McFarland. Ambassador Nicaragua. Yes, the president. Hello, Mr. Hello there. Hello. 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 Hello.
Emilio Marina, Michael Percavo, e Rodolfo, sì, tu, Michael Percavo, Carlotta, Maison Carlos, Bun, Calgando, Gatti, Bacco, Stavo, Gatti, Bacco, Stavo, Gatti, Bacco, Stavo, Gatti, Bacco, Stavo, Gatti, Yeah. There's one missing. Four year old, but anyway. Oh, well. See, you and I will have a picture taken in front of the fireplace, and then we'll have all the family come in and look at it. Like that. Tell them to get a picture. Yeah. 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 Maybe, uh, I think we can get them all right there, sir. That's fine. Just move in just a little closer there. That's fine. Okay. That looks good. Okay, here we go. Thank you very much. Well, well welcome to our, our city. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ambassador of Algeria. Yeah, so. Okay, here we go, sir. 
Thank you. It's been both an honor and a pleasure to have Prime Minister Ratu Nara of Fiji and his wife as our guest. And this is an historic occasion. The Prime Minister is the first head of state in democracy and freedom, a tremendous example for all the countries of the developing world. Fijians can be proud indeed that in their country, people from diverse and freedom this accomplishment, and it is a great accomplishment, is a tribute to your democratic institutions. are our brothers and sisters in the family of democratic nations. We share values that are at the heart of our societies, the most important of which is our abiding love of human liberty. Together then in the cause of human freedom, that bravery is matched today by the magnificent commitment that your people have made to the cause of peace and in Lebanon. And America knows all too well the price that peacekeepers sometimes pay. They have put themselves on the line and won the gratitude of peace-loving people everywhere. If more nations were as responsible in their international community as Fiji, it would be a far better world. The Fijian nation of the brutal invasion of Afghanistan and the deliberate shooting down of a civilian Korean airliner. Americans also deeply appreciate your support of our conviction and wisdom. He's provided exemplary leadership for his people in the crucial beginning stages of democracy. His support of free enterprise and a market economy has enabled his people to enjoy stable American naval vessels. I know that such decisions are not easy and reflect a high degree of political courage. I applaud your statesmanship, Mr. Prime Minister. I thoroughly enjoyed our exchange of ideas today Prime Minister taught me the meaning of a government, free from international tensions and rivalries. We seek cooperation and improve relations for the betterment of all our peoples. Pleasant visit in the United States.
and a safe journey home. Nisa Mote. Well, Mr. President, and views and aspirations. Our two countries have stood together for those common principles of justice, freedom, and fair play. Fiji was used as a transit base for the American troops in the South Pacific to peace and security everywhere. We believe in peace and we are ready to play our part. It appears to us to be a country of unlimited resource. Moreover, there is a basic similarity and broadly common origin of many of our economic and political institutions. I'm confident that your assistance will continue in the future because we believe that you see it as part of your overall responsibility in our part of the world. And this is an effective guarantee for peace and stability in our islands. Our meeting this morning Right now, no decisions have been made. There are options in there, and uh, as we expected. So we're making the information available, as you know, making it available publicly, and uh, we have the decisions to make. What do you think about Ken Yankel's statement? Which one? <laughs> the one to Kinnick and the one in Crawford today. Talking the, to, the one where he suggests talking about strategic issues and just Missiles in Europe. Oh, well, we're, we're looking forward to discussions with them to set an agenda for that, and I think that uh, I'm hopeful we're going to make progress. Do you think it was more positive today? Do you sense that they're moving closer towards narrowing differences? I just have to be optimistic. Do you expect a session with taxpayers on the tax certification plan? What? Next is a session from taxpayers on the certification plan. Yes, we want the public, we want everyone to know who's familiar with this. We want all the input we can get. Think you're going to have a hard time getting it through Congress? We never have a hard time getting it through Congress. Well, or we do it on this side for writing. All right. And then at the end of the week, a week ago Sunday, we went out and uh, a week ago Saturday and came back. Uh, was the weather good? Oh, because it was last day. Last Saturday there, it was fogging and raining all day. But we needed to rain, so it didn't feel too bad. The field here. No, that was before we, that was during the week that we were here. But I understand they did feel it. All right. Well, I'm just Oh, I wanted to thank you for all the leadership and the help in uh, these four years. And uh, hope that you. Thank you. Great.
No. It seems like it's Thank <laughs> you. 